today uh, as i said i'm not going to use any uh, fancy item so this kind of item we, we get in you know normal uh, stationery store as well okay so shall we start or wait for a couple minutes just invite your friends guys so uh, they can join us as well okay so uh, i think it's good time to start right why i am not getting option for share here okay hi rani thank you so much dear for joining how are you doing okay so on facebook my video is clear and i am audible to you so i am just uh, checking whether you know uh, okay oh thank you so much rani thanks a lot thank you thank you so much so i think it's good time to start right yes rani i know you are fantabulous <laughs> okay so this kind of a uh, uh, popsicle sticks we get in the market so this one i got from the uh, itsy bitsy so these are called a uh, saw tooth sticks so that's what i'm going to use just in case if you don't find this kind of a uh, uh, sticks then go with normal popsicle sticks as well so that also uh, gives you nice look so uh, what i'm going to do uh, i'm just uh, taking out some sticks uh, here so today i'm using um, mdf as my base so this uh, this is the mdf uh, panel that i am using today okay and i am going to add the sticks on this panel i just love the texture we have here uh, it's not texture the design you can say so it's uh, it looks like you know saw tooth name is also uh, saw tooth <laughs> so that's what i am going to do uh, i am just going to add this here we don't need this too so just you know uh, randomly i am going to add them on my project like this oh thank you so much dhara thanks a lot it really means means a lot to me guys thank you so much okay so i am searching my heavy gel medium okay so i am using heavy gel medium so as always we need to use heavy gel medium to stick our embellishment so no matter whatever you are using you need to add heavy gel medium uh, just in case if you don't have heavy gel medium then go with any kind of a uh, glue that is strong enough to hold all this embellishment so uh, using palette knife i am going to stick this so i am going to add a heavy gel medium on my popsicle sticks okay so likewise i am going to stick uh all this and together you can also do one thing you can uh, layer the uh, heavy gel medium on your base first and then glue it down but uh, that way i feel that uh, uh, heavy gel medium get wasted so that's the reason i'm just individually picking each stick and gluing it okay 
and again if you don't find this kind of a sticks then go with normal popsicle stick they also works best under uh, in mixed media project i do have created projects using popsicle sticks as well what you are saying we can also do some stencil work on mdf base and yes absolutely you can uh, give some stencil work uh, stencil texture but i am not uh, doing it today so let's see if uh, at some area we can do okay so like this i have stick and now i'll just uh, move them little bit so here we have a plain surface so there we can use a stencil so i need to find this stencil just a second so i need to find some stencils okay so these are the stencils i have we can go with this design or this one just let me know which design shall we go with or we have beautiful brick design as well so i think brick will look nice what you guys say maybe brick brick will look nice here or this one or this one okay so i think we uh, we should go with the brick one what you guys say okay okay so we got words for brick so uh, using texture paste we are going to okay i need to find my texture paste now okay so here is my texture paste so i'm using a uh, expressions craft texture paste today so using same uh, palette knife just let me check where we can add okay so since uh, this portion is not even so our stencil part will be like you know grungy kind of looking <laughs> but that will look nice i guess yeah it's looking amazing so just blend it out little bit so there it 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 it, uh, it won't look like you know harsh piece or you know harsh uh, texture paste i don't know why i'm blabbering today <laughs> okay so it does look nice guys and now uh, this side as well so if you have any question guys then do let me know hi madhvi thank you so much for joining how are you doing oh just a little bit here i should have a uh, grab a big palette knife but that's okay so here uh, we didn't get nice texture <laughs> stencil pattern but that's okay we should have done uh, stenciling uh, before sticking this element so that way uh, it will be easier as well also uh, 
all the stencil portion will be you know uh, you will get nice crisps, uh, crisp uh, crisp images <laughs> okay and now what i will do i will just add some texture paste uh, stone texture paste just to add more interest because it's not looking perfect here so using my palette knife Uh, what you are saying Dhara, uh, only one request come every alternate day with live mix me. Oh, thank you so much. Sure, sure. I will definitely try doing that. So, uh, here I am using a stone texture paste. Okay. Just to uh, hide out this uh, mistake because uh, the stencil is not perfect here. Stenciling uh, is not perfect here. So, I am just hiding this out little bit and see there is no uh, right and wrong in mixed media just go with the flow don't uh, you know uh, if something doesn't work then don't get upset just trust and go with the flow after all there are you know uh, always happy accidents in painting as Bob Ross says so there are always happy accidents you don't know like you know whatever you're trying and you might discover something new technique while trying so don't get upset or don't uh, don't leave hope so just a little bit here so i'm hoping this will uh, look nice uh, Yes, absolutely, Dhara. So, I will also add some uh, stone texture paste here as well. Just to add more interest to the project. So guys on uh, Facebook here my video uh, my voice is not packing today right so just randomly I am adding this texture and just uh, smooth it out because we don't want harsh edges. Yes, absolutely, uh, Dhara. Uh, today my voice is <laughs> good because I have uh, changed my internet provider. <laughs> yeah, okay, and little bit this side as well. And this kind of a, uh, you know, um, I got this kind of a scrap pieces, so kind of this this kind of a scrap pieces from the element craft studio so whenever they have a uh, offer in you know uh, scrap bags then you should grab it because uh, in that you will get various shapes as well and it will be easier for you to work on work uh, like you know you can make mixed media or decoupage anything that you want so yeah i do have created a uh, you know small mixed media uh, um, fridge magnets as well using this kind of a scrap so uh, that video is in process so it will uh, I will upload that maybe tomorrow so don't forget to check that out okay uh, what are you saying Monica uh, would you consider in future recorded in landscape only uh, yeah uh, yeah that uh, i will do that uh, from uh, next time i will definitely do that so i don't know whether uh, as of now it is possible to rotate the video i have to uh, change the 
direction and i need to set my uh, tripod like that so next time definitely i'll do that okay okay so i think uh, enough of the texture paste okay now we will just dry this out so any question on instagram guys uh, yes absolutely dhara hi khurshid ji thank you so much for joining so i am just drying this using my heat gun again if you want to use this kind of a heat gun then uh, please take precaution because this uh, this heat gun blows a lot of heat so you know you have to take precaution also make sure that you distribute the heat because we are working on mdf and if you apply lot of heat on the mdf the mdf uh, tends to get puff off so uh, just make sure oops just make sure to distribute your heat and guys on amazon also you will get this kind of a uh, sticks too so just uh, check in your local ha local uh, store stationery store and if you didn't uh, didn't get there then just go with the amazon okay so now uh, we will add this so see uh, i have this frame but i don't want to use it uh, like this vertically so what i am going to do today i'm just going to uh, stick like this and here like this okay and in between i have this small mdf piece that i'm going to add here and okay so this word will be my um, focal today so see this is how it will look so i think it's pretty uh, nice and it's a good option for gifting as well so let's take this thank you so much guys for your hearts thanks a lot okay so now uh, i will just uh, stick this first or shall we uh, prime first let's see i always prefer priming uh, once i have uh, arranged all my elements so i think that way uh, it's easier for me but you can do one thing like you can prime your all the object first and then uh, make a composition of that you can do that that way as well So see this frame. Uh, this frame uh, cost me around I think uh, thirty five rupees, and the scrap bag which I got in that I had um, sixty five to seventy pieces I guess like this scrap, and uh, um, the wording was for fifteen rupees I guess. So this whole mixed media will be you know uh, kind of hundred rupees, hundred of or one fifty rupees. so it's not necessary always to invest in you know lot of stuff just create with whatever you have with you and i will add this here just give it a good press oh thank you so much monica thank you sushma 
and now I will add this one uh, do let me know if you want to see this kind of uh, you know low cost mixed media so I will bring that as well in a live or as a video so however you say I will do that okay so before adding this uh, inspire word I'm going to prime my surface first so today uh, what I'm thinking um, oh, thank you thank you Chitali uh, what you're saying Dara? add a resin embellishment Uh, today uh, I am not thinking to add any kind of a resin embellishment but uh, just let me know if you want something uh, <laughs> yes exactly Rani if you want uh, if you want me to add some uh, resin embellishment then look, do let me know that way but I think uh, this will look cute what you guys say this will definitely look cute so today uh, motto of doing this live is you know sometimes people ask me like i don't have any kind of a resin embellishment or what should i add so i thought let's create something where you uh, don't need any fancy item yes yeah, sure i will do that so today i'm going to use black gesso to prime the uh, surface because last two days we are using white gesso so I thought uh, to use black gesso today. Thank you so much. Uh, one more Napster. I forgot your name. Extremely sorry. <laughs> okay. So now. Um, yes. Now I will cover my project with black gesso and again if you don't want to prime your surface with black gesso or white gesso then just go with the chalk paint because chalk paint also works same uh, chalk paint also work as a primer too because all the ingredients in chalk paints are same as this gesso if you want DIY gesso uh, recipe then do check out in on my channel youtube channel i do have diy uh, black gesso okay i hope you had uh, you enjoy your raksha bandhan today what you guys did my brothers stay in uh, Pune so I just sent them my Raki so uh, this time uh, it was not possible for me to visit so yeah <laughs> otherwise most of the time I do visit uh, to my native especially for these kind of occasions but this time the situation is not uh, like that so yeah so any question guys Great Tara. Yeah, absolutely, Sushma. So this time it will be like uh, online Raksha Bandhan. So Monica, if you are here, so Raksha Bandhan is a festival uh, in India which is celebrated for uh, brother and sister. <laughs> So sister tie a uh, Rakhi. So I don't have a sample for Rakhi. 
or else I would have shown you. <laughs> so it's just like kind of you know bracelet you can see. So that's what we had today in India. Okay, so now my project is covered with black gesso. So at some places, I'm just using my small round brush just to go there. Okay. What you are saying, Nadia, from where do you get such lovely ideas? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know that. <laughs> so when I see uh, stuff that time itself, uh, it just click uh, in my mind like what will I make using this. So maybe that way you can say. I guess Monica is from USA uh, as far as I know yeah she is a crafter and she also creates wonderful project guys you should visit her channel okay uh, oh okay oh you are from Australia so, yeah She do have YouTube channel. If you want to visit, then do visit her YouTube channel as well. She create wonderful projects. Okay, so that's done. And now uh, I will cover this one as well. So using my round brush only, I'm covering this. yes exactly in fact when my husband sees this kind of a you know in process picture he he was like oh you are just wasting this <laughs> yeah i don't know how it will turn out and blah blah stuff and once the uh, piece is finished uh, he wonders like how you did it <laughs> Okay, so this will be my focal here and now everything is covered with black gesso and now we will just dry this out thank you so much Nadia okay I forgot to stick this one inspire first let me stick so it will also get dry with the heat just uh, dry this quickly so today what I am thinking I will use some chalk pen for highlighting what do you guys say shall we go with uh, chalk pens Yes, wax just go well with the black gesso. So, uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm thinking to go with chalk paint and then uh, I'll finish it with waxes. Thank you so much, Poonam. So now everything is dried 
so see this is how it looks as of now at some places we haven't covered it but that's okay it will look nice so yeah i'll just make some room here and then okay so uh, today i'm going to use um uh, red chalk paint it's been so long since i have used red so i'm going to use red chalk paint and uh, i always use blue and you know green so today i thought to create something new so i'm using chalk paint from expressions craft so i'll just take out some chalk paint here so see how bright and beautiful color this is okay and using a sponge sponge i need a smaller sponge okay so using this sponge i'm just taking a little bit of the color black and red uh, goes very well with each other so yeah so i'm just taking little bit of chalk paint on my brush like this so i took very little paint and using so just make sure that your entire uh, sponge is covered and using light pressure and dabbing technique i'm just going to add this chalk paint so look how beautiful it's looking and just don't drag it just using a uh, dabbing technique you have to apply this chalk paint so that way you will get nice uh, bright you know vibrancy of this chalk paint on your project if you drag it on the project it will look like you know mushy or muddy something so it's always better oh oh thank you sushma <laughs> so see this kind of a uh, project we create uh, it takes hardly uh, 30 minutes or so to create this kind of a project so just make a simple and easy project and it will be easier for you to you know gift to your loved one as well oops on facebook My video is disconnected. Why? Okay. Just switching my network on to the. Hmm. Just a second, guys. On Facebook, I don't know why my. Where is pause? So it's just trying to reconnect. I should use same network in uh, Instagram as well as Facebook. Okay, I think I'm back on Facebook. So, can you guys see me on Facebook? Uh, yes, Sushma, I am back on Facebook. So, just see if my video is visible. Oh, uh, shall I? Oh, uh, shall I start again? is there anyone on the facebook okay so just a second guys just give me some time
so can you see me on facebook or shall i reconnect yes i think i sh i should reconnect on the facebook Okay, so I started a uh, live on Facebook again. I don't know why is this happening with me. So now I have tried uh, everything <laughs> that I can, but Facebook is still bugging me. Okay, so I will cover entire uh, thing using. this chalk paint i just want this word to get highlight so i'm covering it using same chalk paint so on top of it i will be adding some waxes okay so see how it looks uh it looks amazing isn't it with black and red is always a classic combination thank you so much dhara so i'm just adding a little bit uh, chalk paint on the edges okay so see i just love the way it's looking as of now even if you don't add wax then only it will look nice but wax will just add some finishing touch what do you guys say shall we add a uh, wax on this or uh, let it be like that so see this is how it looks thank you so much monica okay if we need to add wax then we need to dry this first thank you so much dhanupriya okay so see uh it's looking amazing so on top of this i'm going to add this um gold wax so this wax is from adadarkar uh, arts so for applying wax you can use um use some brush or your finger uh, both works great i need to buy some more shades in wax I as of now I only have copper and gold one with me. Okay, so I'm just taking little bit of wax on my finger and using circular motion. So first, let's uh, highlight this. Okay. this definitely uh looks amazing so see uh, how amazing it's looking as of now 
I just love the way these waxes add beauty onto the project. Just little bit of wax and your project, you know, it just takes your project to the another world, you can say. Another level. Just on this circle as well. Thank you so much, Dara. Thanks, Monica. Thank you so much, Bhanu Priya. And little bit here. So this stenciling really uh, looking amazing here. Okay. Little bit on this inspired word. Thank you so much Kurshid Ji. Okay. So I think we can call this piece, uh, you know, finished project. What do you guys say? So any question about this guys? So this is how it looks. So see, it's not always necessary to use a uh, fancy embellishments this kind of awards also works great even uh, i do have some more ideas uh, like this so if you are interested then do let me know i will uh, definitely arrange a live for that that one as well so once this dry the wax is dry then i will add some uh, varnish and then uh, here i will add some uh, nay uh, what you call that oh, i forgot the name <laughs> uh, what are you saying yes yes varnish is uh, absolutely necessary because it will uh, protect your uh, all the colors as well as you know um, from the dust also it will protect thank you so much monica thank you so much for Shichi. sure i will definitely uh, plan this kind of a uh, you know uh, live session so i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, small and simple uh, live uh, project idea so uh, in case if you have if you have any question then just uh, let me know or uh, okay thank you so much neha thanks a lot thank you sushma so uh, if you haven't participated in the uh, uh, you know running giveaway then uh, do participate and i will um, i will definitely uh, arrange some more lives in the future so yeah bye bye take care and happy creating bye oh uh, thank you punam thanks a lot Okay, bye guys and enjoy your weekend. Love you. Bye-bye.